So finally we're in August and a lot of the earnings has been already out and a lot of the companies already came down so much after their earnings. As you know, the stock market has been super insanely crazy how the stock market goes up of that specific uh, company goes up crazy and then when the reports come out no matter how good they do it's gonna go to sell off it's gonna go back down and it's gonna go negative and it's gonna crash and it's gonna kill a lot of people in terms of taking away their investments and it's a it's a fun time so today we're gonna be talking about all the stocks in August all the ones that you should be paying attention to and the ones that are a good time for you to make a purchase and either fractional sales or a wholesale of the basically companies you like to buy but again these are the times that you want to pay attention to these kind of stocks in August so stay tuned we're gonna talk about all the stocks that you should be buying in August let's go baby let's go What is happening guys welcome back my name is Yusef Sad, and today we're going to be talking about all the good stocks that you should be buying in August I know it's been a crazy rough times with the stock market I feel like all the pharmaceutical companies have been selling off a lot of the ones that I've been paying attention like Xenex like CTLT Novavax and a lot of the other companies I feel like they've been selling off and just because there's so many bad news that is happening because of the pandemic that is happening and all the things that is happening I feel like for the past week or two all the pharmaceutical companies have been dropping and all the technology companies like I don't know Apple Microsoft Facebook they are all been trending upward and the reason behind that is there's so many speculation there's so many bad news is that it's coming around there's a lot of articles that they're not necessarily true in any way but still people write them there is still have a bad effect on some of the stocks and you know it leaves you thinking that what am I gonna be doing with all the pharmaceutical stocks that I just purchased a few days ago like for example I talk about Xenex all the time I talk about CTLT all the time and they might drop 10 20 even 40 percent just like Xenex but you have to realize all the pharmaceutical companies are not really short term investment short-time investment meaning that you don't want to really spend the money and go into them right now and come out in a week or two again they're long-term investments they again you want to do your own research and find out about those kind of stock before you actually get into it because some of the times it's not like that that you can get into them make your money double your money triple your money sell it and go home you know it's not always like that the stock market is a lot more complex and complicated than that for a lot of the stocks that we're going to be talking about in my channel so you have to realize that not everything is getting get profit sell off and go about your day it doesn't work that way a lot of the times stocks come down 30 40 percent for them to go up 100 percent in a year or two so you have to do your own research to find out what is really happening with the stock market look into the fundamentals of each company before you actually invest into them because a lot of the ones that we're talking about in my channel are long-term investments and you need to leave your money maybe a year or two years or three years so make sure the money that you're putting in there is the money that you don't really you know thinking about taking it out you don't really need it as of right now and it's the money that you're really putting it in there for your life investment but I'm not gonna bore you with all that uh, nonsense and all that craziness we're gonna talk about the stocks that I think they're gonna do really well for month of August and I think it's a great time for you to start investing to them and the very first one is definitely Apple for me just because Apple uh, they're gonna be soon going one to four stocks meaning if you have one stock they're gonna be now or give you another three stock in a total of four but of course they're gonna split it into four so if you have one stock of four hundred dollars now you're gonna have um, four stocks of one hundred dollars so it kind of works that way but the meaning of that is that more people are gonna invest into the company even though after their earning they just came down a little bit just because I feel like nowadays no matter how good the companies does they did such a high trend right before their earning the day that they show their earning they crash and they come down so much so make sure you're not that guy make sure you're not buying on that day and do your own research see what's going on with their earnings see how the market reacts to it and then purchase and get into that share 
Again, I know Apple went up to 457 on August 6th and they've been killing it. It definitely got sold off. It came down a little bit, but again, guys, it is a great time to invest into Apple just because there's so many good things happening with Apple. There's so many products that is launching soon in the within the next quarter. So you want to be there before all that goodness is happening. So you want to make sure that you already have piece of Apple in your portfolio before they actually go bigger and grow bigger. And it's definitely you want to be on top of that just to make sure that you're not investing right after the basically the stock has been up. So you're going to have to be patient a little bit with it. And of course, even if you look at their one year chart, even though they came down so much, Apple is up still about 120% within the past year. And in five year period of time, they're up 266%. Again, guys, this is a long term investment. You want to leave the money inside of it. You have to be patient in order to make money in stock market as an investor. And definitely my second stock is Microsoft, just because Microsoft has been doing such an amazing job in a lot of the basically earnings, a lot of the cash flow that is happening in their company. And you have to realize again, a lot of these tech companies got and came down right after their earnings in month of July, just because they, no matter how good of an earning they have, they're still gonna come down because there's so much hype about them. And there's so many new people who are trading in their Robinhood account, in their Webull account, and I'm gonna leave the link for you. Sign up with Webull and get two free stock up to $1,400 and another free stock from Robinhood. But you have to realize just because of that, there's gonna be a lot of hype in the market and a lot of selling off at some point. So you have to make sure you're buying at the right time. But even Microsoft, uh, just the last day, it was down to almost 2%. In the week, it's not really trending upward. It's, it's trending about like, it's up 0.3%. But if you look at the one month chart or three month chart, in the three month chart, they're up 15%, which is insane amount of gain that you could have been getting on this stock. If you look at their one month chart, they're up 55%. So again, you're leaving that money on the side, you're not gonna touch it for a year, and your money is almost double. So you have to realize that the patient is the key, sometimes to be able to make money from these giant companies. And of course, a lot of people keep asking me, should I buy Tesla, should I buy Amazon? Of course, you wanna buy those companies right now. Yes, they are overbought, but who cares? They're gonna go up anymore. Uh, every single month or two, every three months, every four months, they come down a little bit and then they keep rising, they keep going up and it's not gonna think, I don't think we're gonna go through another closure. The economy cannot withstand another closure of the whole, you know, the country. So I don't think we're gonna go down again. We're not gonna see those numbers again. S&P 500 is up almost 50% from March and it's insane. So you gotta make sure that you're investing into those with a lot of the ETFs like VOO, VTI, the Vanguard uh, dividend paying uh, ETFs are amazing. Those are perfect opportunity for you to buy, especially with the uh, fact that you can now buy fractional sales is a no brainer. You gotta buy into these stocks before they go massively crazy and it becomes too late to invest into them like a lot of the other companies. But again, even Tesla, it came down, Amazon, it came down 2%, 3%. But again, it's still Tesla is about 1450, Amazon is about 3160, but it's still a great time to purchase them right now. Yes, they are overbought, yes, they are expensive, but you have fractional sales, so don't even worry about it. Buy it, put it on the side, and never think about it again. Just till the day that it's the right time to pull it out. And usually I would recommend at least one year because that's the time that you're gonna pay less amount of taxes on them to Uncle Sammy. I also have been looking at Netflix lately. I know they've been through a hell of a ride and going up and down between so many different things, but their ticker symbol is actually NFLX, if you wanna look them up. Netflix is around the trending about $500 now. It did go up a little bit more and then it came down after their earnings. But you have to realize, these are the things that it's gonna expand over time. These are the things that you gotta start investing. If you look at their one month chart, they're up still almost 58%, 60%. So it is a great time to again, invest into these kind of companies as a long term guys. Don't get me wrong with short investment. Short time investment is something you wanna get into it, get out. And those are usually for the ones that you know they're gonna go up because they're gonna get funded by the government to do vaccination for Corona or something that is you know popping out. But again, if you want a solid company to invest your money, if you want a solid 
company that you don't want to be worried about it that they're gonna go bankrupt and crash in two days three days make sure you're investing in a company that is a multi-billion dollar company just like netflix just like amazon facebook alphabet apple and a lot of the other good ones that i can leave the link for you guys to check them out but make sure you do your own research to make sure you're buying into an account that is basically has a potential for a long-term investment rather than just a short time uh, basically investment that you're gonna see up and down and your heart's gonna go crazy and you're gonna be like what did i do it was all my life saving and now i have nothing Again, the pharmaceutical part of the stock market is very dangerous. You want to definitely take the time to invest your uh, time and effort and make sure that it's a company that is worth your investment and is a company that they're doing good in long term and their fundamentals is right. Again, one of my favorite, my most favorite actually right now pharmaceutical company is definitely Catalan. Catalan, the ticker symbol is CTLT and they're up almost 55 percent in just one year uh from around 53 dollars to 88 dollars right now and the good thing about them is they're one of those companies that their own uh there are a lot of the people that actually work for them own the company so that tells a lot for me about a company when the employees actually own stocks of that company it means that they believe in the company and they know the company is doing them right so they know they can trust with their money put their money in their stocks and make sure they're gonna make money out of it and Catalyst is definitely one of my favorite just because they also start getting funded um, by the government to create vaccines and not only that they're joining with johnson and johnson and they're going to be making new drugs and hopefully something for the corona vaccine and it's going to be a great time to start investing into them a couple of years ago when they were all the way around 22 dollars i was looking at them but I didn't make the move, I didn't purchase them because I didn't have that much money to invest in a pharmaceutical company with a lot of risk. But now I have the leverage of being able to invest into the companies that there might be a, a little bit of gamble inside of them. But Catalan, again, is one of those ones that they have a great fundamental, their cash flow is amazing, their earnings is amazing, and you have to be on top of it to make money with them so you need to invest right now leave it on the side forget about it and you're gonna double your money in a couple of years so that's the key for all the stocks that i'm telling in my video so hopefully you learned something in my videos and i was informative for you guys hopefully i earned your thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what is this that you want to spend your money into what kind of part of the stock market you're really interested to spend your money and put your money in there and make sure you make enough money inside of there hopefully you guys had a great weekend and i'm gonna upload another video in couple of soon so stay tuned have a great day and ciao